Hey there guys, Matthew George here with FreeCCNAWorkbook.com and in this video I'll be discussing and demonstrating Lab 1-5 which is installing Graphical Network Simulator version 3, also known as GNS3. Now GNS3 is basically the graphical user interface which is laid on top of several components uh, such as Dynamix which is a Cisco hardware emulator engine. Basically that application can emulate Cisco 2600 series routers, 3600 series, 3750s, I mean not 3750, but 3725s, uh, 7200s, so on and so forth. Also there's two other applications that are used in GNS3 such as uh, Hemu, which is a, a full PC emulator. Uh, Hemu is commonly used to emulate Juniper routers as well as uh, Cisco IPS appliances. And also there is PMU, which is basically an emulator for the Cisco ASA and the Cisco PIX appliances. Now, with that being said, GNS3 is a very popular training tool. It is used by several Cisco candidates uh, pursuing Cisco certifications. Uh, the reason it's so popular is because, you know, it emulates the hardware. Uh, GNS3, or Dynamix, so to speak, the engine underneath the GNS3, emulates Cisco routers, so therefore it actually runs the real Cisco iOS images. And with that being in mind, you have access to every command in Cisco IOS for that specific image versus running a simulator, which is very limited in commands and it's not very realistic. Basically, you know, it only does what the programmer has told it to do or it only says what they told it to say. So with that being in mind, like I said, GNS3 is very popular uh, because of the functionality and because since it runs all this equipment virtually, you do not have to pay for real equipment. You know, when you build a, a CCNA, a CCMP, or even you know a CCIE lab, um, the prices will add up very quickly. And the advantage of running GNS3 is you save a lot of money. Now, all the labs here in the free CCNA workbook can be done using GNS3. However, the videos that I'll be creating for the workbook here will all be done on real hardware. So. And with all that being said, uh, this video here is going to be just a quick demonstration on how to install GNS3. You can download it by clicking on the uh, first link here underneath the links navigation bar on the left hand side of the page. Uh, click that, opens a new tab. And currently as of this video, the latest version is uh, version 0 0.7.3. If you're running Windows, you can grab the all-in-one installer. And it will take you to uh, SourceForge and it will pop up with the, uh, the download and you can save the file. I already have the file saved to my desktop so I'm just going to minimize the screen here and go to GNS3. This will pop up saying, hey, security warning, publisher could not be verified. Basically this is just saying that the application doesn't have a valid certificate. Uh, you know, saying, hey, Microsoft approves this application is verified publisher, blah, blah, blah. Just click run. Uh, click next here and I agree. Uh, GNS3 is a open source, well, Dynamix and other applications are open source applications. Gen S3 is underneath the GNU policy, um, so it's freely available to use. Uh, right here, you specify the folder, and ah, crap. Specify the folder that you want to create the shortcuts in on the start menu under all programs. Just leave that the default. Click next. And there is a few applications here that are required. Uh, WinPCAP is one of those applications. WinPCAP is basically a uh, a driver or an API set that hooks on to a network interface card allowing communications uh, between an application and a NIC in real time. Also it allows you know for uh, real time monitoring and so on and so forth. You have to have this installed if you want to use the GNS3 network input output clouds which will allow you to connect a, uh, a load back adapter or a NIC uh, of your PC to a virtual router in GNS3. So. So to set the defaults here and click next. And if you're running a 64-bit operating system, it will install by default to program files, uh, parentheses, x86. If not, it will just install to program files, forward slash. Uh, after that, just click install. And it will extract the WinPCAP installer. Pretty simple. Next. Next. I agree. Automatically start the driver at boot time. Go ahead and accept that. Next. And voila, it's done. After you click finish, the GNS3 installation will continue, and once it is finished, you will see a nice little icon on the desktop. Uh, and we're waiting. Come on. 
You can do it. There we go. Alright, finish. And here's our nice little icon here on the desktop. So there's really not very much to installing GNS3. Pretty simple. Bunch of nexts, and I agree, and voila, it's done. Uh, so with all that being said, hopefully you know this video has been educational, and thanks for viewing.